This is James Mathers for the Digital Cinema Society at Cinegear Expo 2022. I'm here with Peter Marr in the Canon booth, and Peter's going to tell us about a new mirrorless camera that you got. Yeah, this is the EOS R5C. This is very familiar looking to an R5. Uh, it does have a fan built in for continuous video recording. And this switch is what really makes the difference. When you flip it over to the photo mode, it acts a lot like the R5. It has a 45 megapixel full frame sensor, uh, a lot of the same menu selections, basically everything you'd want in an R5. When you switch it over to the video side, this gives you a completely different camera. It's a cinema camera once you flip it over to the video side. The menus, the entire system is exactly what you would see on a C500, a C300, or a C70. So now, this camera right here, this switch will basically determine whether you're a photo shooter or a video shooter, and that full frame sensor is utilized on both sides. So it's full frame 45 megapixels on the photo side, full frame 8K raw recording on the video side. You have a slew of different codecs. You can go XFAVC, MP4, or raw light. And you also have basically that fan, like I said, for continuous recording. And if you're familiar with the any of our cinema cameras, this will be just like another camera in your hand. But it's so small. It's so small. It's the smallest, lightest weight 8K <laughs> cinema camera we've made. It's under two pounds. It's literally, the body is 1.7 pounds. So if you need that extra latitude, if you need that extra resolution, and you need to be discreet about it, this is going to be the camera for you. So that's an RF mount. Uh, how about for people like me who have uh, legacy EF lenses? Uh, how would that work? So if you have any of that legacy EF mount glass, don't you worry about it. We have the EF to RF adapters. We actually have three flavors of those adapters. There's a straight up adapter, there's one with an extra ring that you can assign a different function, and there's one with drop-in filters. So you can put a variable ND or a polarizing filter in there, and you can, you can utilize all of those EF lenses that you've grown to love. Now it looks like you have an a anamorphic lens on, on that camera with an adapter. Yeah, we do. This one is a, it's an anamorphic lens. With, it does have an EF mount. There are third-party companies that make the RF to PL adapter. So the fact that this flange depth on this RF mount is shallow enough that you can put the EF adapter on, then you can put the PL adapter on, and you just open your world to all the different lenses that you would use or that you would want to use on this lens. We have a new dummy battery that you need to be aware of. So it's the DRE6C. The C stands for cinema. It allows that extra voltage and amperage you need to get that camera to power through that, that raw recording. Whereas the older version, the DRE6, is going to limit you a little bit. So that's one thing to be aware of when you're choosing your external power supplies. Uh, the battery itself in here, it's a small camera, it's a small battery. It takes a lot of power. So you're not going to get the same life you would expect out of an R5. But we do have those external power supplies that will solve those problems for you. A lot of great features. Thank you, Peter. Yeah, thanks, Jim.